A date field in Elasticsearch is more like what you consider to be a timestamp. Date field values contain a date with an optional time component that can also contain an offset from UTC. If you don't provide a value for the time, Elasticsearch will default to midnight. And if you don't provide an offset, Elasticsearch will consider the time zone to be UTC. Let's have a look at how to use date values in an index. I'll create a new index with a single date field. The primary date field for time series data is usually called at timestamp. And I'll use that field name here. I'm going to use ISO 8601 formatted dates for these examples. We're able to add a document with just the date like this. That document will have a time component of midnight. We can add another document with a time component by adding it to the end. Elasticsearch converts all dates to UTC when it stores the value. I didn't specify an offset for those two documents, so Elasticsearch assumed they're already UTC dates and didn't do any conversion. To be explicit with our UTC dates, we can specify a zero hours offset after the time, or add a Z like this. Let's review the documents we've just created by running a query and sorting on the at timestamp field. The sort values that Elasticsearch uses is the actual value it has stored for the timestamp field. When indexing a date field, Elasticsearch converts the value to UTC, then converts that date to the number of milliseconds since the epoch and stores that value as a long. That's the number it's showing in the sort value. You can use an online converter to reverse this conversion and see the original value. I'll add a couple more documents with a different offset to show how they impact search results. Rerunning the query, you'll notice that document six is the first result. Remember that the dates are converted to UTC before being stored. So 9 a.m. in a time zone three hours behind UTC is 12 p.m. UTC three hours are added to convert it to UTC. The positive offset goes the other way. 9 a.m. with an offset of plus one is 8 a.m. UTC. We've got some dates in our index, so let's have a look at how to run some queries. You can query date fields using a term query. You can query date fields using a term query. For example, this query will return all documents with a value for at timestamp of any time on the 1st of March 2022. Notice that document 7 isn't in the results. The timestamp for that document is 2 a.m. on the 1st of March, but it has an offset of plus 4 hours, which in UTC is 10 p.m. the previous day. The term query uses UTC for all matches, and we're not able to change the time zone it's using to match. Term queries over date fields are crude and not recommended. Under the hood, Elasticsearch actually rewrites a term query over a date field as a range query, which is much more useful. Range queries are the mainstay of querying date fields. The term query we just built actually gets rewritten to this range query. That query might look a bit strange when you first read it, how can you get many matches if the greater than or equal to and less than or equal to parameters are the same value? It's like saying greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to one. Surely only a single exact value would ever match. Well, Elasticsearch does additional magic behind the scenes on range queries over date fields by adding in different time components. The GTE parameter gets set to the first millisecond of the value we specified, which in this case is exactly midnight. The LTE parameter gets set to the last millisecond of the value we specified. In our case, this is one second before the end of the day, or 23.59 and 999 milliseconds. The full range query ends up looking like this. GT has slightly different behavior to GTE. If we use this query, Elasticsearch assumes we don't want any documents on or before the 1st of March, so replaces the missing time components with values for the end of the day, 2359.999, becoming this. Matches will need to have an at timestamp of the 2nd of March or later. 
A similar thing happens if we use LT. This query effectively becomes this query. You can add in the time components yourself if you want to be completely explicit with the range of dates you want matched. You're able to use the time underscore zone parameter if you want to have your query timestamps converted to UTC automatically. The number of documents with a timestamp in a 24 hour range would be different in each time zone. For example, the number of documents with an at timestamp value between midnight and 11.59 for someone in London would be different from the same values for someone in New York. New York is five hours behind London. So midnight London time is 7 p.m. the previous day New York time. To get regional results, we can add the time underscore zone parameter to the range query and set the value to the offset we're interested in. Elasticsearch will convert the dates in our query to UTC and use those values in the search. So someone running this query to match documents in EST for New York would end up looking like this. There are special values you can use in a date range query. A common value used with time series data is the word now, which gets replaced with the current date and time. It's not very useful when used by itself, but it gives a lot of functionality when combined with date maths operators. Date maths allows you to add or subtract time from an anchor date. For example, if we wanted to match documents with an at timestamp in the last three days, we could run this query using now as the anchor date. We're able to use any time unit required using different values for years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. For example, now minus 2h means two hours ago. Now minus 1w is a week ago, and now minus 2m for two months ago. Note that it's an uppercase M for month and a lowercase M for minute. Bigger letter for the bigger time range. Don't ask me how I discovered it's so important to remember which is which. Another useful option with date maths is rounding. Dates can be rounded down to a certain precision by adding a slash and then the precision needed. Using now as the anchor date, we can round down to the start of the day using now slash D the start of the week using slash w and so on. You're even able to combine date maths and rounding. The expression now minus 2w slash d would evaluate to the start of the day two weeks ago. The anchor date in the date maths operation doesn't have to be now. Any date can be used by writing the dates and two pipes before the maths component. This expression would add four days to the 1st of March 2022 and you can use rounding at the same time if you need. These date maths and rounding options are really useful when building queries programmatically. You're able to let your users run searches like today, this week, and last month without having to do any date maths in code yourself.